Yeah, we talking about. What up, ball gang? I mean, hold on. Let me get. Let me get. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whew, you hear me? All right. So what's up, man? A lot of people are asking me. I, I was supposed to make this video a long time ago. I forgot. I got busy. I'm in Canada right now. Okay. So everybody wanted to know um, what I do with my life and all my tattoo meanings. So what I do with my life, if you didn't know, I quit everything. Um, I didn't go to Dion's parties this year. I didn't do anything. I didn't really leave. Um, I went down to Florida once, but that was like my family, you know, kind of like Marlon. Like I always, if they call me, I always try to go down for them. Um, they like, you know, I, I grew up, that's like my brother and his pop, you know, so something like that. Um, but the only person I'm willing to work for is Dion. If you watch this, you say you watch all the dog stuff. And you said you know who he is. Um, if you call me, I'll go if I'm free. Hey, but I know who you are too. I didn't, hey. you know, I just, I, I was a little busy, so I couldn't make it this year. Um, I'm mad I ain't get to drive that Rolls Royce. It's fun. I drove it before. You know what I mean, it's cool. Yeah, I have facts. To smoke this dude. With, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to send you a video yeah, of me busting nah. his beep. He, he beat me once. Yeah. With you. He I'm going to score a 40 with mm, you. Yeah. literally has no W's over me now. Anyway, um, so that's that. Like, I quit. So the main reason I quit is just because I'm trying to build a foundation here. You know, um, my first, like, week down here, me and Marlon talked. He, he opened up his house to me. Um, I got to stay here. Obviously, I got to pick a pup. And ever since that, we kind of been rolling, you know. Every time I leave, it kind of messes more things up than what it's helping. Like, it puts a couple of dollars in my pocket, but it's it takes money out of my pocket months from now. So, like, but it's not all about the money for me. It's, it's all, like, so pretty much, like, I did something for somebody a couple months ago. And the contract, I was supposed to get $3,500 paid every month. I was supposed to be with them for a lifetime. Um, I, well, until I screwed up, which I never did. And I also talked to them and told me I could be up in New Hampshire. And every time they needed me, they'd just fly me out. They didn't pay for my um, They didn't pay for my parking, which was like $500. Yeah, I paid the parking. And they didn't. I'm just making a vlog, sorry. Oh, no. It's hey, you, uh, um, Aladdin said if you guys are hungry. Uh, he said for you guys to come in and eat. All right, cool. Man, don't worry, you ain't got to help. I'll make this vlog later. Come in and eat. You don't got to tell me twice. I'm out. We'll be back. Back wall game. We had to eat real quick. Cook this real good food. I'm so, hey, yo, it's so hot here. It's not even funny. I'm wearing jeans all, but not jeans. I'm wearing work pants. I'm wearing my work pants, you know? They're called BDU pants. I'm wearing my boots, you know? But I was just saying, you know, they didn't pay for my parking, which was like, I think like $400 and they also didn't pay for me to get back to where my car was which was Boston and they left me in Philly and they didn't pay me my money they gave me some not all of it and it's a little it's and it's not so much the artists it's more the managers and stuff and it's not really that, like, it's different from being in the street, like, yo, you owe me $500, like, give me my bread, I'm gonna come find you, this this type of thing, you know? These are, like, famous people, like, I can't just go to their house, like, yo, I owe my bread right now, and sometimes work is uncontracted, it's just, they give you a cash advance, or they'll, um, you know, tell you, like, after the job's done, we're just gonna pay you, and, you know, they never really question fame, like, why would they do that, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, it happened. You know, and, and and when I come up here, like with Marlon, like the money's never a problem, and he just does so much more for me. He treats me like family, not just some guy. He doesn't boss me around. I got my own place, my own dog. You know, he takes care of me when I'm hungry. There's always food available. You know, like it's just everything is cool. He helps me out um, financially if I need it. And, like, you know, I feel more family up here than actually, like, when I'm back home and working and stuff. Like, even I noticed the other day when I came back from delivering the puppies, you know, I came in the office and Hulk seen me and he ran up and got all hyped. Like, you know, Hulk used to never pay me no mind. Like, you know, even just not even Marlon Lisa and the kids and stuff. Like, even the dogs are, like, accepting me in the pack, you know. Even when, when we travel, last time we were in Canada, um, Marlon and Hulk were walking down the hotel steps and Hulk turned around and looked at the steps. He was waiting for me to walk down, like... You know, I'm a little security. Like, oh, where's Steve? Like, we got to wait for everybody. Like, you know, the, the dogs know. Like, the dogs accept me, you know. Like, I, I get to play with all of them. Like, I get to do whatever I want with all of them, you know. Um, it's just better. I'm just, I'm I'm fit up here. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, I'm here. I quit. 
that's that. I don't really want to get in that. It's more personal, and you know, people that I know might actually even see this, and you know, uh, the client could possibly, and you know, it's just different. Anyway, if you want to know who I do security for and all that, that's my whole other life. That was my whole other life. Um, my Instagram is a list underscore Steve, a list, a list underscore Steve. Put the little link up here, whatever. You can check that out, but. Back to the um the tattoos and stuff. Um, my whole body's pretty. Uh, I always say that my whole body's not really covered. You know, I got start with the hand. This is the newest one. The hand, the A list that is me. Uh, a list, you know, uh, is forever. And um, the gorilla. The gorilla is actually. It's hard to explain, but it's like the inner me. Like I'm not a bad person, but like when I'm working or I get going, like I turn crazy. I black out. You know. Um, Anytime I was working in the clubs and stuff and there was a fight, like, I'd always be the first one grabbing people, tackling people, all that. I'd get pepper sprayed in the face and all that. I wouldn't even care. I'd turn into some crazy, like, psycho Tasmanian devil gorilla type thing. So, I got this. This number three, um, I got it. I'm the third born. Um, also, kind of, my brothers, um, they, um, their mom calls them the three kings. And they're, like, family to me. So, you know, 3K. I put up the four because I was supposed to be the fifth. Never mind. And MBK stands for my brother's keeper. Um, you know, anybody that I call my brother, I don't call anybody my friends. You're either my brother or just an acquaintance or a sister or something like that, you know? So that's why when you hear me talk about, like, yo, my brother, his mom, like, I don't got, like, 47 brothers and sisters with different moms and dads. I just, I call their mom and dad my mom and dad because that's the type of level I'm on. Like, even Marlon's mom, the first time I met her, I went to shake her hand, like, how you doing? My name is Steve. She, like, pushed my hand, came up and hugged me, like, now when I see him, I'm like, hey, mom, how you doing? I'm give her a hug. Like, so stuff like that. Um, you know, anyone I call my brother, like, I'm always, I will, I will die for you. Like, I will, I will lay down my life. Like, I will die for, if I gotta die short to die for you, so you can live longer. That's what I'm gonna do. Like, I will put. I feel my purpose in life is since I'm doing security is, you know, everyone has a purpose in life, and then that's I'm religious. That's when it's their time to go. So be careful what you pray for. You know, you ask for your family to get closer, you know, maybe maybe somebody in your family will die so you guys will have a little reunion or something. Stuff like that just happens. Nobody understands God, and that's when they, oh, God's not real because I prayed for to win the lotto and I didn't win the lotto. Well, maybe if you pray for money, he'll give you a job opportunity instead of winning the lotto. Stuff like that. You know, you want a bike, maybe you'll get a job. You know, stuff like that. I'm going to just start ranting. Um, if you want to hear more about this, we can talk about it, DM me, whatever. Anyway... If you're my brother, you're my sister, your family, I will die for you. I will lay down my life. My purpose in life is to change somebody's life sir, or to impact somebody's life. All the things I've done in my life, if I'm still living, then I have a purpose on this world to do something crazy. I don't know what it is yet, but my time has not come yet. Hopefully, I see many more years, stuff like that, you know? Um, this tattoo right here says, Praise the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war. And my fingers for battle you can kind of just think about it for a little bit you you tell me what it means if you really watch this video comment in the comments what do you think that means this is a skull um with the time piece the time was actually when i was born if you could read that you could figure it out comment what time i was born it's actually really detailed my artist is amazing you can't really see it because it's, it's old now but like all these are individual little time car like the little slots and this stuff right here is kind of filler. My elbow was done, but as your elbows and your hands and stuff, like the L's come, like it kind of wears off. It's wearing tear. Like you see it was a little black right here. And my elbow's not ashy. Leave me alone. And this one right here, this is my first tattoo to cross. This is, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. I lost one of my brothers, my childhood brothers. He jumped off a train bridge and Long story short, they found him a couple hours later at the bottom of the river. So no matter what I'm going through, I know my bro is always with me here and here and here. He's, he's probably, you know, he, he, he might, I might sound crazy. He's in the car. I know he's with me all the time. No matter what I go through, my brother is there. You know, rest in peace, Ak. I love you, bro. Um, I'm sorry. I know you're supposed to play football and all that. He was changing your life. You wanted to buy your mom a car and a house and all that. But just know when I start getting some real paper, bro, I'm buying everybody in your family, everything, you hear me? And this is the eye of Christ. You know, kind of just God's always watching out for me and all that. You know, kind of going back, all my friends and stuff, like they watch out for me and all that. And this road is kind of just peaceful. It's kind of just a filler. 
If you don't know who this is, then do your homework. Um, I don't want to get naked here. I got a lion set on here, the, the lion of Judah for, uh, you know, you got to know that. Um, let me put my seat back. This is going to be I got a tattoo on my back. I'm not going to talk about it. It's a little inappropriate. I got one on my leg. Um, it's a foam posit sneaker head. If you want to see it, I'll show you. I have pants. So I don't feel like it, but... You know, in high school and stuff, I had every pair of sneakers. So, uh, you know, I was a real big sneakerhead. I still am. But, you know, you kind of, you kind of, um, you grow up a little bit. And, you know, it's not worth skipping school and all that nonsense just to get some shoes to impress people that, you know, whatever. I do love Jordans, though, and all that. I only get the shoes I want now, only the shoes I'm going to wear. Um, I used to just buy releases just to buy them and say I had them. I have them in my closet for years and years and years. Long story short, I ended up selling all my shoes. I only have probably, like... 50 pair now that are where I'm from and then I got maybe 10 pair I just bought back from my house when I delivered the dogs uh, back up to Marlon's house stuff like that but my last tattoo um do I have any more tattoos I don't even know I'm about to get a whole bunch of tattoos I'm gonna get a DDK9 tattoo all this stuff I got all the stuff planned out I just my tattoo artist I'm very loyal and he's booked and every time I make an appointment, me and Marlon are doing something so I cancel and then he's trying to get me to Xavier and Xavier's not even in the country now and this and that, no Xavier's home, me and Marlon are gone, like we're in Canada right now. It's a big man, I'm not, I'm not one of the people that just go in the tattoo shop and sit down and like, yeah, hey, tat this, let me see what you can do. No, that's on me forever. In the summer, I don't care that I'm a big man, I walk around with my shirt off, I, I don't care, I'm happy with my skin, I look good, I am on my weight journey, Um, I'm gonna talk about that in the next vlog again. I have my exercises written out, I have my meal prep all done. I have all this stuff done. I got these trainers that are my boys. They went to school for all this stuff. They're going to get me in the best shape of my life. I'm going to stick to it, dedicate, boom. Also, I might make a channel playing YouTube and stuff, a little gamer. I like, might make a YouTube channel, making uh, a little channel on uh, 2K and stuff and games involving y'all and all that kind of cool stuff. But long story short, my tattoo, my last one, it says right here, it's not done, so I don't want to lift up my shirt. Like these horns right here aren't colored in yet. I gotta get all that done. I gotta wait to get my artist. I don't want somebody else to finish it, even Xavier, that's weird. That's like somebody writing my first name here and my last name here, somebody else, like it's just different styles. So it's called a Hanya mask. You wanna Google it, you can find the meaning. You could you could put two and two together and why maybe I got it, um, stuff like that. But that's pretty much all my tattoos of right now that I think I have. The tattoo on my back, I know you guys are going to ask me. It's just SB. It's an initial, but you're never going to figure out what it's for. It's not for any girl, any guy, any any anything. It actually could represent something that you guys, if you know me, you might think of, but it's not what you guys think of. You guys will never figure it out. Don't even start trying to guess. It's not my initials. It's nobody's initials, none of that. So that's that. Um, I look a little ugly. I gotta trim my beard. There's no barbers in New Hampshire, so I'm learning how to cut my own hair. But I am growing my hair back out. I'm gonna just let it grow, see what it do. It tends when it gets real long to naturally lock by itself. So I got this little brush, and I just twist my hair every day just to get it information. But I'm gonna just let it go, see what it does. You know, I ain't gonna look homeless and all that. I just trim my beard, but I just gotta shape it up now. My mustache, all that, you know? I still look good. I'm still handsome, you know what I'm saying? Um. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, I'm in Canada. I'm in Canada, eh? Not this little guy. Um, That's pretty much my life. So my life at the DDK house is, I wake up, you know, I got my side of the house. Marlon has a house that's like EA big. It's like 8 million feet big. I got my side of the house to take care of my dogs. Of course, six is part of my dog. Um... Real quick, I got, uh, so you guys probably don't wanna know, I got six, Gianna, Hulk's mom. Um, I had Missy, I had Zero, I got Captain and Maui and another dog right now. I don't know if I can say, cause this is some, um, and then um, I help out sometimes, you know, um, I try to help out in the kitchen a little bit. That's Dynasty, Hercules, Netflix, Kong, and um, General and Stella and all that, you know? So I take care of that, and then I film my YouTube channels like I'm doing now. My dogs only. I run that. DDK9's dog only. I'm going to put that in there. It's just the dogs. I heard people commenting, saying, yo, you should make a YouTube video on dogs and this and that. I have a YouTube channel. It's just dogs. There's no people in it. No people are talking. 
It's just natural, beautiful scenery and dogs. That's it. If you want to watch it, check it out. I'll drop a little screen here. Boop, right here. You guys can check that out. And then, you know, if if we have an open day, which we never really do. Like, a lot of people DM me, you're the luckiest man in the world, this and that. Which I am. I, I think about it. Like, you guys think of me as famous. I don't think of myself as famous. I hang out with Marlon all day. I know everybody wants to hang out with Marlon all day. Me and him are like two peas in the pod you hear me like no matter where he goes i'm going like it doesn't matter so like if, if we're having like a day where we can kind of relax a little bit or like you know it's summertime so we work real hard in the summer because um the days are a little shorter and we lose sunlight and in the winter it snows a lot so it's hard for the dogs and stuff um but you know we me and martin we just we have fun you know we'll do something or just hang out you know there's always something to do there's never a day at his house where i've said like damn i'm so bored like I wish I had something to do. Like, I always, we always just find something to do. We'll sit in the office and just help. We'll just do videos together, or play 2K, or go out and get food, or shop, or take a trip, or something. We just, we just have fun. You know, life is short. It's good to have fun. Let people know you care about them and all that stuff. You know, life is about making memories because the only thing promised in life is death. We're all going to die one day. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. So just enjoy it while you're here. Don't be scared of nothing. Don't hold back on anything. Do whatever you want to do. Dress how you want to dress. Date whoever you want to date. Be happy with who you are in your skin. Love yourself. Love everybody. There's no reason to be negative and put people down. There's no reason to hate on people. Use people as motivation. This dude's house on that is a mansion. He's, apparently he's got like a thousand houses. He has all these brand new cars and quads and all that. All paid for. This dude owns a security company. This is this motivated me. I can tell you, oh man, this dude, he probably don't know what he's doing. Oh, look at this stupid car. Like, no, I'm literally looking around like this is gonna be my house one day. He's got dogs from Martin, and like this is gonna be cool. So don't hate on anybody, man. Show love. You wanna breed dogs, look up to Marlon. Why y'all hate him? Like you guys are mad for what? Just be happy. Everybody be happy. Wall gang, I love y'all. If y'all watch this, drop a little the little emoji if you can. If not, just drop a comment. Comment on my Instagram, the Great Wall of DDK9. Follow my dog, I am six. I am underscore six. Follow Marlon, DDK Line King, Dark Dynasty K9s, Lisa, Dark Dynasty K9s by now. I am Hulk, I am Kobe, I am Netflix, I am Kong. Everybody, man, follow all of us. Love us all. We love you guys. We thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. They appreciate it. I try to interact with you guys on comments and lives. And all that, I check my DMs and my comments as most as I can, especially when we're traveling. If we switch off driving, I'll sit in the passenger seat and scroll and everything. And I'll tell, I'll tell Marlon, like, yo, Marlon, um, at so-and-so just hit me up and said, you know, can you tell Marlon this? Like, I tell him stuff. Like, we just can't answer everybody. It's hard. I know you guys might think, oh, my God, like, they can't take two seconds out of their day to answer everybody. But, like, as I was saying, I don't even see myself as famous. I go out. Like, when I went to Philly, I went home. Some dude, real, yo, you're the wall, like, oh my God, like, he had to get a picture with me and everything, like, people know who I am, and people, DM, my, my DMs are full, like, I can't even answer you guys, I feel really bad, I tried to, and then, so you already know, Marlon's got millions and millions of followers with all his pages combined on Facebook, you know he can't get to him. so, we try, people, we love you, we appreciate it, thank you so much, keep supporting, stay tuned. Um, how do you guys feel? This is the last question I want to ask. This is going to see if you guys really watch it. Um, give me a comment on my page or on the YouTube channel. What do you guys think about the wall merchandise? I'm going to run that by Marlon. Maybe some wall shirts or something. DDK9 is the wall or maybe a little background. Something cool. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys would buy it, if you guys would like it. You know, whatever you guys want to do. Um, just let me know, you know. It's whatever. Marlon's pointing at me and laughing. I'm, I'm turning my strobe lights on in my car. That little light back there, boom, you seen it? Boom. So I'm out of here now. I love y'all. Appreciate it. Boom.